Okay, this video will show you how to take attendance and to use the personalized page. When you're logged into Power Teacher, this is the page you'll see, and you'll have a lot more classes than this. This is just a, a sample that we've set up. And uh, if I want to take attendance um, on the start page here, I just click on the uh, click on the chair here, and uh, this will come up. There's only one student in here. You'll have a whole list of students. But if uh, they are all present, then uh, you, all you have to do is just click Submit. If uh, um, one of them is tardy, you come down here and you click on the tardy. And then every time you click into a box of all the way down, it would put in the tardy. Or if they're absent, you click on the absent, you click in the box, and it would put uh, for all the people that are absent. Like I said, if they're present, if you're, they're present and you click in the box, it'll leave it all blank, and you just click submit. And you might have some more other selections uh, um, when you see your attendance. And uh, once you click submit, that's it. You've uh, you've taken your attendance, and uh, um, usually there, there's a uh, a red um, a dot on here, and then it'll turn green once you have uh, once you have taken your attendance. And so you can remember which ones you've taken attendance for. And that's all you do for taking attendance. It's uh, very easy. Um, the next thing I want you to look at is the personalize uh, button. If you click on the personalize button then uh, there's a couple things you can do here. First here you could uh, click on change password type in your old password and new password and verify new password and click submit and you'd, and you'd be able to change your password if you want to do that. Um, the other thing you can do here is look you can change what is your default student screen. Uh, in a minute here I'll show you how we click on some students and we can see different information for students and there's a whole bunch of screens you can choose from you can choose which one you want to be your default student screen so that when you click on a person's name for the first time that particular screen will come up so if I click on here to personalize my default student screen it will give you several choices so all the list of screens you can choose from I think usually it's set on demographics um, which is a good screen and you kind of decide which one of these screens you use the most and that's what you would set it on to. I, I like the uh, quick lookup screen. So I'll click quick lookup and submit and so that'll make my initial screen for my students to be my quick lookup screen. So um, that's what you can do with the personalized button and then I'll show you how that works. So if I come and I click on uh, the backpack and uh, I will see then a list of all my students over here on the left. Like I said I only have one student. Now, if I click on uh, this student's name, then what screen will come up? Well, for me, it'll be my quick lookup screen because that is the uh, screen that I set as my default. Now, if I want to look at the demographics uh, screen, I could just select a different screen and come down here to click demographics, and then it'll it'll show up. But if I go up here, then and click on the last name of any student in my list it'll always go back to my default student screen would be like the quick lookup. So uh, you might ask well what if I want to look at all the demographics for all of the students? Well if you first click on the left the last name of a student you're gonna get the default student screen which in my case is the quick lookup. Then you can go and select screens and you can choose the demographic. Then after you've done that you can click on the first name of anybody and it will show you the demographics page. It'll show you, if you click on the first name, it'll show you the same screen that you were uh, just at with another student. So that makes it uh, a pretty handy. But if you if you always click their last name, you'll always go back to your student uh, default page, which in my case was the quick lookup. But I could, uh, I could select a different screen here, um, uh, schedule, and then if I wanted to see the schedule of everybody in my class, I could I click on the next uh, person, but I click on their first name, and it would show me their schedule. And I click on the first name of the next person, that would show me their schedule. If I click on the last name of a person, though, that's going to take me back to my quick lookup screen. And so that's how you can kind of set your um, your initial student default uh, screen, and uh, how you can easily scroll through all your students on a different uh, screen if you want to by clicking on their first name. Hope that helps.